about the test. It's about the test, not quiz, okay. Okay, hello everyone. Assalamualaikum. Very good morning. Can we start? Yes. Waalaikumsalam please. Please. Okay. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Okay, while well, having our session, okay, I share with you the the PDF file in the meeting chat. Okay, the editing quiz. Okay, basically the, that one was drafted for FSIT lecturer because the dean uh, request to have a standard setting for the online test. Okay, you can refer to the, the PDF version given in the meeting chat. Or I already shared my screen just now. Okay. Okay, before we start with the q and A, I'll just uh, go in glance uh, what being suggested to be a uh, uh, default setting. Okay, editing setting quiz by Yulin Change Engine. Okay, uh, there are a few part in the in the quiz setting. Okay, the first part is general. Okay, what you should do is the what you should do is the first thing is about the naming. Uh, as per suggested, name should be labeled as course code colon followed by course name and then type dash online test two. Okay, the description will be given by um by Miss Sniza later. Okay, this is the standard instruction uh, to be placed in the description, which is uh, meant only for FSIT. Okay, on the this general uh, part as well, there is a display description on the course page. Uh, there is a chat box. If we check, it will display in the course page. If we don't click on that, they will remain only on the test setting. Okay, the next part is about the timing. Okay, the timing, this one referred to the timetable uh, time table set by Rex registration unit, the exam unit, you, you need to refer to the timetable. But we, what we suggested, uh, we allocated uh, a extra time. Okay, open the test for certain period for, for multiple MCQ tests. Uh, approximately 60 question second persuasion is more than enough, but basically due to the internet, um, delay speed in various location okay we're going to put some uh, a longer time maybe it's between five to ten minutes to allow all students to complete the test successfully okay when time expire there is a part where you need to uh, to highlight the open attempt are submitted automatically so in this case basically what we tend to we want the student the system automatically capture what been uh, attempt by the student so we select open a time are uh, submitted automatically. So for a week, I can't yeah. hear you, so sorry. Anyone uh, having problem hearing me? I can hear you, Chenizam. You can hear me, eh, Norin? Yes, clearly. Kat, kat Noni, um, on speaker. Kat Noni? Okay, never mind. If you can't hear me, uh, the slide basic, the the slide, uh, shares basically, uh, well explained. You can read from there. Okay, I proceed. The next part is about the grid and layout. Thank you for the grid and layout. Basically, um, uh, the for grading part, uh, we are using a standard or default setting unless we already managed the grid category earlier. So the grid category we are not cover here since the the urgency is about making the online test and the extended assignment. Okay, for the layout here is really important to have one question per page. So for the new page, we select every question. So you, uh, we, you can check or uncheck the repaginate now. Okay, the next part important is navigation method as requested or um, mentioned by UAC or CNET, it must be sequential setting. Okay, there are two settings in this uh, navigation method, which is free and, and sequential. So the, the method to be choose is sequential. Sequential means uh, the student must answer the current question before they proceed to the next question. Okay, on the next part, it's about the question behavior. Okay, it is important uh, to set the question behavior to defer feedback 
Okay, so that the the feedback only given at the end of the test. Okay, as a default setting, okay, for the review option, okay, you have to check. Okay, this is the suggested um, view, suggested setting. Only the student can see the marks, not the rest. So immediately after the attempt, only the mark. After the quiz close, is only the mark. Okay, proceed with the extra restriction on the attempt. Okay, uh, require password. Uh, each test was recommended to add a password. So we added the password to uh, to make it some uh, set where the student only can assess the test with the password. If no password, so when the time on, the student can uh, simply start the test. When we have a password, so without a password, the student cannot assess the test question. And then uh, about the time to start, we distribute the password. Okay, the next part is, to, is the browser security. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. When do you distribute, the, how do you distribute the, the password? Um, basically, we have the group uh, chatting with the student, for example, through WhatsApp or Telegram. Oh, okay, so it's not in the question itself. Lah. Uh, it's I not mean, in the we do it separately. Lah. Okay, ah. okay. okay, thanks. Or maybe maybe if you you can uh, if you want to make it simple like you disable the password when the time start. Eh, tak boleh kalau tak password tu dalam ulen. Uh, no point of having password dalam quiz. Oh, dia boleh nampak ya. Yeah. Dia, dia boleh nampak. Dia boleh nampak ya. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And unless the time about to start, then you not distribute the password should be no problem. Ah, uh, maknanya before test to start, then we put the 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 password in the ulen, then uh, baru dia orang boleh mula. Yes, correct. Uh -huh. I think that would be good also lah kalau macam tu. Okay, the next part is about full screen pop-up with some JavaScript security. So the, when the student run the test, uh, when we set as the full uh, full screen, the student may not be able to assess any other features in the ULEARN. So they are in the full screen of the test. So the two things here is about the password and the browser security for the extra restriction attempt. Uh, category. Okay, other setting basically uh, the appearance, overall feedback, common mode setting, restrict access, activity completion, tag and competency. This one just use the default. Okay, I repeat what to be con uh, concentrate on is about the name of the test, the description as per standard description by FSIT. The next part is about the timing. Okay, this, the timer refer to the REX timetable. Okay, the start, the complete. Okay, and then open attempt are submitted automatically. So this, if the student has problem with the network or something at the end of the test, so the system basically capture what have been attempted. Okay, then the layout here is the important is about the, the every question a single page and also the navigation met, is a sequential method. And then for the feedback, Okay, please re, uh, put the review option only to see marks like after the attempt or after the quiz close. No answers. Uh, please uncheck the right answer. Otherwise, the student will see the answer right after the attempt. And then the password and also the browser security here. And then the rest is about uh, using the default setting. Okay, the other, the other thing is about the edit the quiz because we have to prepare like uh, to ask 40 questions, we have to prepare 60 questions and then the student. Uh, Isa, we, uh, yeah, Isa, yeah. Okay, may I inter okay, how about the declaration that the student has to say that uh, I'm doing it on my own, things like that. Where, where do uh, you put that? Uh, that will be the next part. Okay, thank you. Okay, in editing quiz, the first part. Uh, just now is about the quiz setting. Now it's about to add on the question to the quiz. Okay, when we uh, when we edit the quiz, this is the, basically the view of the quiz. Okay, the first part is about the maximum grade. Okay, for this maximum grade, um, it's based on the cost assessment. If you mention about the ten percent, the twenty percent, the fifteen percent. So you have to set it here, okay? And then they will basically reflect the question uh, that you have been added to the quiz. And then the other thing is about the shuffle. Okay, 
click on the shuffle chat box basically to make it the answer to be shuffled for every student. For example, the correct answer is A uh, for one student. The correct answer might be B for the next student and the rest will be C, the rest will be D. So this shuffle is, uh, is important. And then you have to click on save. Okay, now we're going to add the equation. Okay, uh, there are three options to add the equation. The first one is new question. This, the next one is about question bank and a random question. Okay, as per um, agreed in the UAC and the Senate, we have to provide the random question. Okay, the random question, um, what being suggest, suggested here, you already prepare the question in the category. That means in the question bank, you already have a set of for topic one, for topic two, for topic three. And then we're going to select the random question. Okay, on the random question, when you click on the random question, there will pop up a, a, a box. Okay, the box will mention some, something like this uh, slide where there is a random question from existing category. You have to select the category. Okay, in the category, maybe for my case, I have 25 question. I would like to have only 20 question from the 35 question. So if I have a few other category to be added to the test, okay, I may repeat this step after I click the add random question. Okay, you, you may repeat the above step if you have more category to be added to the this quiz, the online test. So basically the, the first part is the one that to be manipulated with. We are adding the random question taking from the category that you have set in the test. Uh, excuse me, uh, Jenizam. Yes, I um, yes. Where where do we put the random question? Okay, um, you have to create the quiz in the question bank. You create the, the category. Where where do we? Uh, uh, okay, then then the uh, the question bank. Do? Okay, uh, later my friend will show you where the category, the question bank. So what I showing here is basically the the one that have the category. Uh, uh, Nizam. Yeah. Uh, it means that uh, the one that displayed in drop down at the category section that you showed just now is actually reflect to whatever you have uh, in the question bank, is it? Yes. In okay. the question bank for the course. Okay. So if we do have all the in the question bank, definitely it will appear here. Then we just select which one is uh, actually we wanted to be included in this quiz, is it? Yes. Uh, thank you. So, uh, excuse me. So, in that way, we have to prepare first the question bank, and from that, there we have to select the questions. Yes. Okay. Nizam, uh, yeah. so the students will receive a different questions. Yeah. Um, as the default in Moodle, okay. The 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 algorithm try to do a fair between students. Even though we select random from the different category, the overall set will be the same for each student. Though only here, they're going to randomize in terms of student number one will get um, a set of question. Uh, the, for example, like 10 question for uh, topic A, 10 question from topic B, 10 question from topic three. Every student having the same set of question, the one that display in the, in the quiz for each student will be randomized means the question number one in uh, in topic A will be displayed for the question number uh, for student number one maybe at question number ten. Question number uh, the same question will be displayed thirty for the next student. Okay, so as it doesn't mean that, for example, uh, I prepared uh, sixty question out of uh, four categories, for examples, and then uh, the question will be randomly choose from that sixty questions. And the students will have the same question. Is that correct? Overall, same question. Okay. Yes. Uh, if uh, that is the case, so uh, I might want to just uh, prepare forty questions from each uh, from all categories. Yes. Okay. So I will have to select the question for because I afraid that if I have made sixty questions, so it will be randomly uh, picked from the systems. Uh, then I will not able to choose the best questions for that 40 questions. Am I correct? Yeah, you are correct. Okay, thank you. All right, moving on. 
Okay, these are the, the one that have been uh, distributed by um, Dr. Nohayati Melon. It's about the the pledge, the agreement. Okay, what been uh, what we try to do the way like um, you can refer to the item ten in the appendix one a online test guideline for lecture. So uh, basically, the student need to agree to the to the agreement. Like student need to declare that the online test is their own original work, and such student need to declare that this before they start the online test. The lecturer must use the standard statement. Okay, these are the standard statement. What I suggested uh, to make it as question number one for every lecturer on test one. Okay, what you have to do is you add the question as multiple answer with zero mark. So when the student answering this question, they will re they will not reflect the test mark. So we add the question as question number one, the multiple answer with zero mark to make the student agree to the agreement. Okay, this is the question that asked by Dr. Reza just now. So so uh, this one is not to put it in a random random mode? No. Now, so that one is to do manual? Lah. Yes, because our question will be uh, sequential. So we make it this question as question number one. Two until... Uh, 41. Uh, sekejap, Saipul. I rasa perkataan tu mungkin kita pun overlook lah. Mana boleh select one or more? They have to select both. Uh, select one or more ni, itu default by Moodle. Itu. Tak, takkan, takkan you nak kata select one or more. Kalau dia select one, maknanya apa? Nombor tu tak perlu. Uh, <laughs> Jali, Syakira, Zudin tolong. Kehanan, this one is default by Moodle. Boleh both huh? tick all. Ah, dia patut je kena kena tick both. Mana boleh select one or more. Yang Kalau dalam one or more, maknanya dia agree satu, dia tak agree lagi satu. Tak tak, itu macam Cik Saifun cakap, dia muda tu. So, dalam stem atas tu, we can put as tick all. Ha, yelah, jangan tulis select one or more. No, this one. Boleh tak, you all buka perkataan tu, select one or more tu remove. Maknanya before you start your test, please tick the following. If you agree. Ha, cakap macam tu je ke? Ya, yeah, dah gini dah. Bila you, you bila you, you opt for multiple answers, that one will come out automatically. You cannot do anything on that. Bukan. Maksudnya betul. Ini akan keluar automatically. Cuma ayat tu tolong ubah. If both uh, both the rule is applicable, you combine it so they choose only one choice. Ah, yeah, correct. Multiple choice allows us to choose one, so you combine both because both are applicable. Kan? Ah, ah. Because Jangan this... bagi dia, macam ni you bagi dia pilihan. Okay, the, the statement taking from item number 10 as per appendix 1 is, so if you want to make it as only one statement, should it be, shouldn't be a problem, just uh, make it as uh, a single checkbox. Ah, yes, single checkbox. Uh, MCQ one option. So yeah, if we do that in the MCQ, there's only one answer lah. Kita bagi satu option saja. We don't put any B, C or whatever phantom answer. Is it? Or just leave? No, the other A, B, C, D, E, maybe juga Cecilia, but the student can only choose one. Yeah lah, so we have to come up some phantom answer for B, C, D and all that lah. Masuk I. Is it? Uh, or we leave MCQ. Tak perlu. Not sure. Because multiple choice, you must give choice, right? There must be at least some choice, more than one. So what do we put in the other choice? Katakan kita combine these two guidelines. What is in the other choice that that student won't tick? Apa tu choice? Excuse, Excuse me. Not applicable, not applicable or something like that. Excuse me. Can, can I ask a question here? Yes. Uh, this... Uh, you say this is be, this will be question number one, and uh, if this will be shuffled, then uh, maybe student will not maybe few student will not will not answer this question because it is shuffle. Is it then? Tolong jawab. Can you repeat this the question? You mentioned that this, uh, this what we call it, uh, kita panggil apa, student declaration, we put as question number one. 
So when we put as question number one, that means it will be included in the shuffling of the 40 question, am I right? Okay, what I would suggest, uh, hello, let me answer. Uh, okay, you have to create a category. You have to create a, a category in your database. It's, later on, we're going to show you how. Uh, and uh, call that one, for example, uh, declaration. And you put only one question, and that question is the declaration. And later on, when you choose the set of question, you have to choose one uh, random uh, question from that uh, category. Will be chosen for sure. Is that clear? This one will uh, happen only once, lah. Yes, yes. Uh, the, the 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 process of choosing the question is when you edit the quiz or the the, the test. Uh, okay. So when you edit the test, uh, you can uh, select the question randomly or not randomly. Uh, so if let's say you choose randomly one question from that uh, category, which is the declaration. Sure. So in this case, you need to have at least two categories. One category is for the declaration and another category if your set of questions, which contain that 60 question. Hopefully that one is clear. Okay. Cuma itulah okay. tadi yang highlight one or more tu tolong jadikan satu lah. Hello? Yes, yes. Uh -huh. Bukan takkan nak pilih pula. The, the two are compulsory actually, mandatory. The, the exactly. If that is the case, then when you when you choose the question, you don't choose randomly. You choose only two question from that two question database. Oh. I'm going to show that uh, uh, if that one is needed later on at the end of the presentation. Jali, so, Jali, uh, can you change the select one or more to to another one another thing in the in the setting up couple something like that? Ah, itulah yang saya cakap tadi tu ha, jangan tulis select one or more tu dia tak dia ha. tak appropriate. Perkataan tu tak appropriate. Can you change that in the setting? Yes, yes, yes. We can later on. We ha. should change All to right. All right. Okay. Um, just a suggestion. I don't know whether you can do it in ULEARN since we have upgrade. Instead of putting it in the test two question, why don't we put it in the landing page? Bila dia masuk saja in the landing page, they they tick this. You know, it's like a a prompt that they they have to tick. Then they can go. Can we do that in the ULEARN? Do we have that feature? Uh, Hanan, please answer. If, if not, it's confusing. Can I talk about that? Be confusing and with our question, the test is questions are more important than this. This is a uh, declaration which they have to do upfront. So it should be somewhere in the landing page or some, when they must you learn or something like that lah on the during the test time. All right, I'm not sure this is Celia. Hanan, are you there? Can you assist? Okay, and Hannah is not responding. Um, later we we'll come back to the situation and the answers. All right, basically uh, I'm done with the 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 setting, the default setting for the quiz. Okay, now I pass to Jali to do some demo on the user uh, on the okay okay categorization. Oh, boleh boleh boleh. Okay, right. Uh, sorry, before you start, can I ask a couple of questions, please? Yeah, sure. Number one, you talk about the password. Uh, hello? Hello. Yes. Oh, I'm talking about the password, and I, I don't see the relevance of the password because the students have cannot access the questions until the specific time. So only when the time starts, they can access the question, what do you call that, the question paper. So what is the relevance of this password? I, I really don't understand. Hello? Hello, yeah. Um, the, you hear me? Yes, uh, we, we got you. Yeah, okay, thank you. Okay, uh, the password just a recommendation, okay. Uh, sometimes uh, at the time, it's supposed to start at 9, but mm. uh, on the some setting they are not available or some issues or something okay and other students may already uh, have no issues so when we have a password sometimes we block the access for the student that already have no issues well i have been running this online test using other systems and i never really used the password it seems to work quite nicely for me so i just don't yeah. understand why i need to use a password when I think the students are matured and 
and uh, I think they will get into to the time uh, whenever the time is supposed to be, and they will be able to answer it since they are all over the country right now. They are not in one place. Uh, the the is, uh, password is optional. So mm -hmm. if you choose not to give the password to your tests or quizzes, uh, you may do so. It, it doesn't make any difference. Uh, right. the, uh, okay, what uh, the password is all about is that, uh, for example, if you have two sessions of the same quiz, uh, you might give the password for the first session, and the second time around, you change the password. So in this case, you are making sure that only uh, the, 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 the few students that left uh, yet to take the quiz can only access the quiz. Okay, uh, that be the case, it makes sense, yes. The yes. second question I have is, uh, this is a real life example. The exam or quiz has started and then say 15-20 minutes later, something happens to the internet line. Yes. Maybe not within campus, but outside of campus and the students are not able to, what do you call that, continue. And then one has to, and if you say more than 20 minutes, and you're given an extra 15 minutes only for your quiz, now we're running short of time. Okay. So then we one has to reset the time rather than from 9 to 10, 15, one may have to do until 10.30, which is quite cumbersome. Now, um, I brought this up once before to my uh, department, but now it seems ITMS is here. I think it's very good. I've had this problem once or twice already over the last two, three weeks. I think globally, as well as in Malaysia, the internet lines are being saturated. Therefore, this timing is a bit of a dangerous game from my perspective. I think if you have it open for two hours for a one hour exam, you're probably safer than to restrict it to one hour, 15 minutes. Um, that's my five cents worth. Agree, uh, Dr. Iswaran. What uh, we normally do is that, uh, for example, for one hour test, we open for two hours uh, normally. So the student can join in to start the quiz at any time within that two hours. But uh, each student for sure is given exactly one hour to complete the test. Dali, yes. Just a question. I'm... If, for example, there is some uh, disruptions of the of, of the uh, internet uh, connections, uh, will students uh, when the students resume the connectivity, uh, do do does it consider uh, uh, already submitted or not? Can the student resume? Yes, they can resume. They they need to, for example, either refresh or re-log in and they'll be placed in the same question where they left before the internet connection problem. The time, is it considered the time that, that when they are offline? Uh, the, the time will uh, continue. Okay, okay thank you. if I may share, what has happened is that say after 20 minutes, a few students, um, their device goes blink and then there's a 15-20 minute delay before they get back online. So that 15-20 minutes, first 20 minutes they have done is credited to them. The 20 minutes that's lost is we have to account for it and they're given an additional 40 minutes. So that, that's why I said the time allocation that you make has to be done very carefully so that if there is any catastrophic problem in terms of the internet connectivity, they will still have their 60 minutes worth of time. Uh, as I'm aware of, the, the time will be counted during that uh, disruption. No, no, no. That disruption time is not is not to be credited to the student's exam time. If the yes, line yes, is off for 20 the, minutes, if the line yes, is off for 20 minutes, it's gone. Yeah, I know. Uh, but that, uh, that one, uh, I cannot help. I just uh, explaining the facts uh, because uh, the time is actually calculated uh, based on the starting time, not the time that they have spent. So if there is an uh, interruption, then the student uh, should uh, restart or refresh uh, immediately. So uh, the student in that cannot sense, be so the student cannot be given one hour because that is disadvantageous. Because if you are playing a quiz for one hour and he goes blink for twenty minutes, he has lost twenty minutes from his one hour time. So you should I be understand. given one and a half or something. Is it? Yeah. I, think, I, I think there are two things here. First is to open to question, and then the time limited for the student. We open, limit to the student is for one hour, but the opening of the question is going to be for two hours, correct or not? So that for, uh, the students, uh, if they have problem for 50, uh, 20 minutes still, we have, we will open the students for two hours for them to answer the questions. So my suggestion is that uh, if you predict that one would happen in uh, to any of our students, 
uh, better if you give extra uh, like five minutes or maybe 20 minutes to, uh, to the to the student. That is the best advice maybe uh, I could give. Jali, Jali, this is Zul. Yes. If I am not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong, I saw somewhere a uh, written that the, the 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 test or the extended exam is 20 hours 24 hours duration correct 24 hours duration correct correct so when when the student start that means uh, when the student start he or she has only about uh, 1 hour or, or 2 hours to complete the test lah and so that one is different it is all uh, that, that one, one is, is what? Extended uh, assignment. Now that one is only for extended two. assignment, yeah. Uh. That one is only for extended assignment, yeah. Assignment. Okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. So, uh, excuse me. I just want to ask a question. Uh, the duration, two hours, which you say, this uh, question uh, timing uh, should be just for sixty questions. Should be only one hour. Hello? Hello, that is for multiple choice. But for yeah. example, like my department, we are not using multiple choice. Then you can have between one to two hours. So, but then for multiple choice, it should be one hour or two hours. You you decide. Because the multiple choice, actually the in the guideline, it was mentioned that the student should answer 40, 40 questions. Yeah. But the questions must be 1.5 more. Then that's why you have to prepare 60. And if you think that one question requires one minute or 1.5 minute, if 1.5, then one hour should be enough. Yeah, so it's not compulsory that you have to allocate two hours for 40 questions to be answered, is it? I don't think so. I don't know. Jali, no, what not, do you think? not compulsory, depending on the course. If the course is for year one, perhaps one hour is enough. But yes. But teaching a, a fourth year, uh, based on the level of difficulty, Maybe you might need to allocate more time. Okay, but then uh, another question I have is that uh, in the uh, they told us that there should be hundred uh, marks question to be set out. So when you say forty question, a student have to answer on multiple choice means you have to divide that hundred marks for forty questions. Is it? Yeah, 2.5 so, marks. Jali, 2.5 marks. So, can you complete your task? So, those who are having difficulty or questions, they can note it down and clarify later. All right, not the Dr. Dam. I think what yeah. we mentioned by Dr. Dam, uh, if you have uh, any issues on the question, they want to be discussed in the department level. So this one we focus on the Euler matters. Yes, correct. This is uh, on Euler only. <coughs> the the that one is logistic on the department. All right. Uh, is there any other question uh, before we proceed with Jali on the uh, question category? Uh, now we are still talking on the MCQ again, but after this you are talking about the non MCQ again. Uh, uh, we go for question category. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Um, okay. Hello. Um, sorry, I Hanan from ITMS. I just not answer on the declaration statement that being asking me just now. Um, actually, uh, the one that you asked that everyone need to check on the declaration statement before they can start the quiz, the online test, right? Uh, actually, it's never have been done in Moodle previously, but I will check with the with the uh, my vendor first, then we will get back to our lecturer, okay? All right, thank you, Hanan. Okay. Jali, on you. Uh, what I'm supposed to share? Uh, the, uh, how to do the uh, question bank categorization. Oh, okay. Categories, you mean? Uh, categories, yes. My you learn first. Uh, sorry, the while you trying to upload, uh, share. Just want to ask. Uh, my course is is one course uh, called organic chemistry, but I have three three batch. They have each different you learn, but the test questions will be the same. So if I prepare for one 
one batch, one cohort, uh, one, one group. Uh, can can you learn make it, Hanan? Maybe you can help. Can you learn make it now that the students are assessing only one uh, one you learn? If not, I have to repeat again and again the same thing. And I'm just afraid that I might miss it, or in case they have problem the other you learn side. I just want it to be one platform. So let's say I have organic chemistry one. I have applied chemistry. I have chemical engineering cohort. Uh, D, E and all that. Now, I, currently I have three ULEM platforms, so any notices, all I have to repeat, repeat, upload notes. That is not a problem, but in the test, I'm quite worried if I do, but many times something might be lost along the line. Can can that, can we have one, can I have one ULEM for, for this course? Uh, actually, cannot, uh, because we cannot create uh, one ULEM for everyone. So because uh, I, I think everyone have the same, I mean, I mean, actually the answer is cannot. Yeah, I'm why sorry. not? It's the same question, same batch, same course, everything is the same. Uh, I would say, Dr. Cecilia, I would suggest uh, you just copy the question, <coughs> the question to this, to the other courses, um, I mean, to the same course by other student. So you are running the same question for the for different batch at different cost in the ULEN at the yeah, same time. I, I can do that, tapi ben, when I did yesterday, I did the random, I done for one course already, tapi there's a lot of buttons to click. I just afraid I miss one of the button for one of the batch. You understand what I'm trying to say? I do. I want it summer to be the same, that everybody has the same feel because there's a lot of buttons when you do random question, there's a lot of buttons to click, click. When you said the quiz question, there's a lot of things to click, click. So if you do three times, if I'm Mis misplay something and we're not no, so uh, when you have it in category right i already done in category yeah okay uh, basically you can import those things import the question to the uh, other course uh, by asking by a few steps really, uh, okay, uh, yeah. and later maybe you can refer to uh, that to assist you okay um uh, thanks jelly ready Hello everyone. Yeah, Jelly, proceed. Um, I'm waiting uh, Hanan to create a dummy course for me. But in the meantime, maybe I can show you how we can uh, create categories and subcategories for your question. Uh, subcategories simply is a logical partition of your, que of your question type. So assuming I have, for example, a course called DM, for discrete mathematics and under which I have uh, test one uh, and under which I have, for example, topic one, topic two, uh, which are related to uh, test one. So I'm going to demonstrate how we can create subcategories. Can you all see my screen? Yes, 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 can. yes. Uh, yes so yes. the first step yeah. is by by clicking your course uh, or your subject. So click on dashboard. I know you all know how to do this one. So under, oops, a little bit slow. So um, let me. Uh, sorry, sorry, Dr. Jelly. I have yeah. created the courses named Dummy, Clinic oh. Dummy Courses. Okay, let me, you let's see, see at the future tab. Future, okay, okay, future. Yeah, okay. that one. All right. So uh, at the same time, I would like everyone to open, uh, open your own uh, course so that you can follow along. So uh, at the same time, I guess you can see the the video or the uh, the screen that I'm sharing now. Is that okay for everyone? So in my case, I'm choosing this uh, dummy, uh, click, uh, sorry, clinic dummy course. I'm going to click on it. 
and of course uh, by by default the admin will create uh, 10 topics okay uh, once you are in your course you have to go to the admin uh, you have to scroll down scroll down scroll down until you see this administration block some people call it block some people call it blade b l a d e or b l o c k so i'm going to call it as block uh, make sure that you have this course administration and then under which you have uh, uh, an item called question bank. Click on it. Okay. Once you, oh well, sometimes you have to scroll down many times. Uh, okay. Under question bank, you have four items, questions, categories, import, export. So the, the question is actually where you uh, store your question and the, this is where you create your categories. So either uh, either way will do either you create the question first and then you create the categories or you create the categories and then you create the question. Uh, both way will work. Uh, import, uh, I guess uh, one of our instructors will show. Uh, if no one, then I will uh, volunteer how to import question and uh, how to export. Uh, import is uh, if you have already the question from the previous course or if you have a certain format in text format that uh, later on will be demonstrated here. Uh, you can, for example, write all your MCQ question by using a notepad or Microsoft Word and then you import that one as a text file. Uh, we're going to elaborate on that uh, more later. Export in the case you have already the question already in your course. Oops. Uh, let me go back. Uh, export if you have already the question and you want to download all your question in a certain format. There are many format that you can download to to be used, for example, for next semester uh, teaching. So if let's say this year you have already because you absolutely have to create 60 question, those 60 question can be exported in a certain format. There are like six or seven format that you can choose from. And next semester, when you are assigned the same subject, you uh, what you need to do is to import the question by clicking this one. So that's the whole process. Now uh, I'm going to show you how uh, uh, we can uh, uh, create categories. So I'm going to click on categories. Okay, done. Uh, if you notice, uh, the name of your subject or your course will be displayed here on top. Default for clinic dummy course is actually the what you call the parent uh, category uh, uh, for any course will have a default category, which is uh, this one. So if you are teaching, for example, DM, uh, you will see default for DM course. And the number in the bracket here on the right tell you how many questions that you have already imported or you have already created so far. So because this, uh, this course is a, uh, has been created just now by uh, Ms. Hanan, so I don't have any question. I'm going to walk through all the process to create the question here. So the next step, if you notice, you have this first option uh, we call a list box or drop down list box. If you click on it, uh, you have the top and the default for clinic dummy. So uh, what I would suggest, you just leave this one as it is. Uh, this uh, will be our root directory or root uh, folder or root category. So in this case, I want to create a set of questions uh, uh, for Jali, my uh, test. Sorry, yes, Jali, uh, I put top. Does that make any difference? Uh? Uh, it doesn't make any difference. OK, thanks. Uh, I guess top will be shared among all the courses that you are teaching. Where else, uh, if you notice here, OK, uh, well, I, I guess there is no, no, no big difference. So I'm going to, uh, you can choose top or default. It doesn't make any difference. So, but I'm going to leave it uh, as it is. So I'm going to put, for example, oops, check. Okay, I'm going to put, uh, let's say, test two. Okay. The, the way how you want to organize the subcategories is really up to you. Uh, whether you want to put uh, like topic one, topic two as the what you call first level of your category, or you can put test two and then uh, all the related topic. For example, in my case, topic two will comprise uh, all the question from 
the fifth topic until the tenth. So under test two, I will put topic five, topic six, up until topic ten. Uh, under test one, I will, no, I will normally have uh, topic one up until topic four. So it, it really depends on you. So in this case, I'm going to uh, focus on test two, under which I have like two topics. For example, topic one and topic two, or topic four and topic five. Uh, the categories is up to you. You can. This one is optional, as indicated by this. Uh, what you call uh, red uh, star or red asterisk. This indicate uh, compulsory. This one is optional. This one is for my uh, discrete math test two quiz. Okay. So spelling mistake there. And then you scroll down and add category. So that will be my first one. And if you check again here, this is my, like my, my top uh, folder or category under which I have now. So you repeat the same process of creating the sub uh, categories. So I'm going uh, because we are still here. So now uh, make sure you are still in the same uh, top category, which is default for uh, clinic dummy. Uh, this one test two. Uh, uh, well, uh, I'm going under which. Uh, uh, oh, sorry. Um, we are uh, we are going to create a subcategory under test two, right? So make sure test two is the parent category, and then under which I have like say topic uh, number four. As I mentioned, category info is comp uh, is optional. Add category, and then uh, I'm going to repeat once again. Topic five, and make sure before you click add category, your your parent category is uh, correctly uh, chosen. So in this case, topic five is under test two. So I'm going to click test two. Okay, and then click add category. So so far, if I summarize. Under default for clinic dummy, I have test two category under which I have topic four and topic five. And you can uh, see clearly that uh, there is no question under topic four and there is no question under topic five. Uh, the, the, the bracket here is actually the sum of the question from topic four and topic five. So later on, if for example, I have like five question from topic four and five question from topic five, then on the right of test two, you should see 10. 10 to indicate the, the total of the question under the subcategories. Once you have set up all the subcategories, now you can go to go to your uh, question bank here. Okay. Well, actually, there are many ways that you can create question. Um, you can uh, create question uh, from the category or from the question. So I'm going to show you how to create the question from the uh, from the question. So go to question bank and then questions. Uh, Nizam. Yes. Uh, should I continue this one or someone else will present? How uh, to create we, question? Uh, we are not adding question. Uh, you just add some question from your previous question. From your previous uh, question bank, so that I uh, share, show how to do the random. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, Jelly, yes. before you proceed, uh, can we do away with that uh, topic one, topic two, topic three? Can we do away? Uh, can can we? Uh, I mean, we don't have to prepare that that sub sub category topic one, topic two, topic three. Yes. We have just one category where we load in the 60 question that we're supposed to have. So in that case, uh, as I mentioned, it depends on how you want to decide to give the question. Uh, because, uh, for example, in my case, uh, I want uh, I, I ask the student, um, there will be like 10 questions from topic one and 20 questions from uh, topic two. So if you want to do it in this way, this is uh, one way. Otherwise, you cannot do it. Because if you choose randomly like 30 questions from 60, uh, maybe uh, all those uh, 30 questions will be chosen only from topic two and no question is chosen from topic one. So that's why we organize in such a way 
you have uh, what you call subcategories. So you you have the liberty to choose how many random question that you can choose from uh, topic one, and how many random question that you can choose from topic two. Uh, again, here if you are very creative. You can even create another subcategories under your topic one and topic two. For example, I give you an idea. Under topic one, I have another three categories. The first subcategory is like true false question. The second subcategory is MCQ, and the third subcategory is essay. So in this case, you can even uh, more um, be more focused. For example, from topic one, you want to create. Uh, from topic one, you will want to ask uh, or to give student how many essay question, MCQ question, and true false question. In the same way, you can be more specific on how many question, uh, MCQ, essay, and true false from topic two. So you have more uh, more flexibility. If you dump all the question in one uh, folder, then it's okay. But you don't have like you know uh, you you want uh, for example you want to make sure that. Uh, question uh, to, uh, from topic five uh, will have at least five. You cannot do that. I hope that answers the question. Uh, Jale, just a suggestion uh, because all of us are new and time is running out. Maybe just stick to three category, three questions. And you know, like we are asked to do only three questions, three sets. We are asked to do nine questions. So we just do that. Uh, the rest maybe later we can do all the sub, sub, oh. sub and all that. Okay. So, uh, you have to choose a lot of buttons and if you, somebody miss then then it becomes no, because issue. because uh, as i mentioned there are two ways you can create question first and then you create the subcategories but uh, as i mentioned this is the, the the normal way i proceed so i just show uh, create only two subcategories and then you create the question because when you create the question you need to specify which category you want to put the question in uh, so uh, is, it, is it okay so so i want to create any question is that okay yeah, okay. Uh, okay. So in this case, for example, uh, as you notice there, test two under which you have like topic four and topic five. So I'm going to click topic four. Uh, before I show you how to import the question, maybe I show you a simple one. At least uh, every one of you can create at least one question. So choose the cat uh, category because we have already created topic four. Create new question. And uh, on the left pane, you have like 14 or 15 type of question that you can choose from. Uh, and I, I, I guess uh, from my observation, uh, we don't have the full list, uh, Hanan. Uh, we, we should have another one called formula. Uh, formula uh, is uh, normally quite useful for uh, lecturers for mathematic department. Uh, but in this case, I'm going to choose uh, match, uh, not matching, uh, multiple, let me see multiple. Multiple choice. Or is this too easy for you? I just skip this one. Can you try yes, essay? Multiple, uh, essay. multiple choice. Buat multiple, multiple choice, choice dulu. Yeah, one at yes. a time then. N nanti buat essay lah. Okay. Okay. So click add. Okay. Uh, question name you can uh, just put any name. Uh, for example, this one under topic four, I just normally put uh, T four. This one is MCQ, the first one, first question. Okay. What is the sum of four and five? Okay. So okay, uh, you you can set any default mark if you wish. So normally you just put one. Because uh, later you can change the edit. Yes. Uh, we have to type each one, or we can just like uh, import or. Uh, take from somewhere the, the question. Uh, as, as, as I mentioned, the first one you can create a new one. Uh, at least you have the skill of uh, or knowledge. Uh, secondly, you can import from anywhere else. Or you can write a text uh, type of question. You use uh, like Notepad or Microsoft Word. Type all your question there and then you import. Will you show us how to import uh, later on? Ah, yes. like, uh, uh, okay, I'm just going to proceed with this one, yeah? Okay. Okay, and then here, depending on the question, so in this case, uh, if you choose, if you select this one, you have the option from multiple answers, so in this case, only one answer. Shuffle the choices, uh, if you wish. Well, most of the time, I'm going to uh, put non-numbering. It depends on you. If you want to put ABC, then it's okay. Okay, 
Then here, the first choice, uh, let's say four, five. Uh, you notice that by default, this is the marks. Because five is not the, the correct answer, that's why no grade. No grade means no marks. Okay. Uh, if, for example, you have uh, multiple choice here, multiple answer, then if, for example, if choice number one is the answer, you might give, for example, this one 50% and the other one is 50% as well. Is that clear? So, in this case, the I know that the correct answer is nine. So, four, nine, five is nine. Uh, maybe four multiplied by four. Okay, nine is the correct answer. So, 100% of the marks. That means 100% out of uh, this one mark that you have set here, right? So if the answer is correctly chosen, then uh, one mark will be awarded. This one is 20. And then click, oh, okay, yeah. Okay, save changes or save changes and continue editing. So in this case, I'm sure that I'm not going to edit again. Uh, but don't worry if let's say you have uh, click save changes, at any time later on, you can always edit any question at your own time. So save changes. So that's the question. If you want to, for example, to check how the question would look like from the student point of view, you can simply click this one. Uh, preview uh, with the binocular or magnifying glass there. Click on this one. So this is exactly the question that you're going to see, right? So you want to test whether you have chosen correctly the correct answer for this question. Uh, you can click fill in correct response. So it will show you nine. So you check that this question has the correct answer. All right. So you can start again. Uh, OK, uh, submit and not uh, what not. OK, now in this case, I want to close the preview because this one is a very simple question. Uh, again, here, as I, uh, as I mentioned, at any time you can edit the question. Uh, you can click. Yes. Any question? Jali, uh, Jali. Yes. The, the, Jali, the, this one will be um, kata orang, um, accumulated in the test bank, eh? Yes, exactly, exactly. It will be accumulated in the test bank. Then later, when when uh, you want to apa kata orang, uh, 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 develop the question for the student, though, yes. then it will be another another one. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so, okay. If, even so, if let's say you later on you import question maybe uh, from a file that uh, a colleague has given to you, all those questions will uh, will be added to your course. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Uh, let me proceed. So this is a preview. This is to edit. If let's say at any time you have a complaint from a student or maybe from your colleague that question has error, so you can simply click this uh, what you call gear icon. It's for edit. So you you be brought back to the uh, window where you can edit the question. Uh, for example, uh, after the vetting, uh, the question is to be uh, written in this form. Okay, I'm going to show you an example. Uh, four plus this is after the vetting. For example, equal to for example like so. You may edit, save changes. All right. So now if I preview, I have uh, maybe a new set uh, that it has already been vetted. Uh, but I guess uh, someone will mention that there is no period after that one. So that is second version of vetted question. Uh, you can proceed the process. So this is the edit. OK, let's say I have uh, maybe few questions because uh, I need a similar question of this type. I can click this duplicate icon. OK, you hover your mouse onto that icon. I click this one. And immediately, I have a copy of exactly the same question. So if you notice there, see the question name is a copy. So in my case, I don't want to use a copy as a name. I'm going to remove this one and put MCQ2. And I'm going to, of course, I'm going to edit a little bit. I'll make, for example, the question harder. 14 and 15. Okay, like so. So pretty much, uh, I have a similar type of question with the first one. So 14 plus 15 is 29. So accordingly, uh, maybe I modify a little bit uh, the answer, but uh, make your life easier when, when you have a, a dysfunction. Yeah, 15. So the correct answer is 29. 
uh, I don't know, maybe one, four, one, uh, five, a lack of imagination there. So I'll click OK or save changes. Now I have two questions. And this, uh, these two questions are under topic four, if you notice there. So you can uh, proceed to create the question or maybe you can ask your, uh, your, your colleague to create question on behalf of you. Later on, they, they can export and, and then you can import. So next step, I'm going to show how to import question, right? So, okay. Jadi move to essay. Essay? Okay. Yeah, Jadi, can you move to essay question? Okay, all right. So, second time. Uh, can you show us how to import first? Okay, okay. Uh, which one? Yeah, just just a request for the essay question. Just make it a uh, simple, straightforward where we can actually replicate the the steps uh, for us to complete right. our things. All right. Okay. So create a new question again here. Essay question. And uh, of course, uh, I have to choose, for example, this one is the uh, question under topic five. Uh, what is it? Uh, topic five, uh, essay number one. Okay. Uh, I don't have any imagination. Okay. Uh, what is the logical uh, explanation of in MC or two. Yeah. So what is the logical explanation of COVID-19 uh, MCO2? What's the second MCO, yeah, right? So for example, I'm going to award this one five marks. Okay. Uh, okay, uh, response uh, option here. Uh, sorry, response format. Uh, you can have uh, estimate uh, the like the, the, the answer. Okay. okay, or plain text. Uh, this one you can try one by one. Okay, I'm going to use a uh, plain text. Okay, uh, here uh, you have two option. Uh, text input as optional. That means the, the student they, they can uh, type the answer in the text file, uh, word document or uh, like notepad. Uh, and then, uh, uh, and so on. Okay, so this one is the number of uh, input line. That means uh, how many line that you want to give to the user. Uh, uh, I mean, for for the student, maybe maybe ten line uh, depend. Uh, okay, uh, sorry, this one is text input. That means the student, uh, you know, uh, can uh, what, like enter text, right? Uh, allow attachment if you allow uh, maybe one attachment they can submit uh, like extra file as a part of the answer uh, this one you allow uh, maybe attachment is optional uh, you can try this one yeah at any time if let's say you have question you can always click this uh, like question help button so if you click let me click this one so i have more information but uh, not much uh, that you can read this option space for name number of Attachment required to uh, respond. Okay, let me go back to my previous one. So, respond template is the uh, answer that uh, you require the student to to put. Uh, uh, click the like respond template. Okay, any text entered here will be displayed in the response box when a new uh, attempt at the question start. Okay, you can try uh, to put this one. Okay, let us see what happened. Uh, information for graders. Uh, tag, okay, uh, let me save. So pretty much essay are uh, normally manual uh, grading. So uh, because uh, uh, for the for, for the essay, uh, we we don't uh, have uh, like uh, the the what you call the actual answer for essay. It's open ended, right? So when the student attempt this one, of course you have to grade manually, right? Uh, Jali, Jali, excuse me. Yes. Um, um, uh, can you go back to the earlier page? Uh, which one? Uh, the, 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 the one uh, kita nak buat attachment. We want to put attachment. Yeah. 
Okay, so so um, uh, can can I have uh, uh, the student uh, write their answer somewhere on the A4 paper, and then uh, they can uh, scan it and then put as attachment. Uh, yes, it's possible. Can yeah? Okay, okay. So uh, in that, that case, uh, maybe you put two, or I don't know. Or maybe more lah, kita boleh buat satu, dua, tiga, tiga kan? Uh, okay, so uh, when we want to assess, when we want to grade, then uh, we can uh, either download uh, and look at it lah. Yes, yes. Uh, most yeah. of the... The ULEARN doesn't have the... Plus, cannot a molecule structure of our subject self molecule structure. So we, we are choosing essay and if you look at the essay, kalau you nak atas, we are going to put an attachment in the question itself. So what I have done is, all of my questions has an attachment in the question. So my question is very simple. I, I just say, uh, what is the mechanism of this reaction? And then I link the attachment. So, uh, so we need to make sure you learn can download this attachment because the, the bulk of the question is in the attachment. It's impossible to draw. So, so that is one thing. Uh, so, a lot of us will have attachment. And just like uh, what uh, Dr. Zoe said, also will be in the attachment because students cannot type on the text provided. Okay. So, my our concern is, first, can students download our attachments? <clears throat> Secondly, uh, can they upload the attachment? Well, in the, in the question itself, actually, What we call the file. Uh, so I use the link. Ah, I use that. Yeah. Atas lagi question. Ah. Ah here. Ah. I guess. Uh, Nizam, can you help on that? What was that, Jelly? Sorry. Ah, uh, like uh, for example, a specific question is requiring uh, the the instructor to add a uh, a picture or a graphic. Can we can we add that one? Yeah. There is a file, right, uh, in the category. In the question itself. Or right. maybe they can uh, click this one. Is that right? Yes. There, I, I there, guess this one. Uh, there is an option to add image, pictures. Yeah. So let, let me try, let me try. Yeah. Uh, normally I just put image. Uh, I'm not really sure whether you have file. So, okay. Uh, so you uh, okay? Let me yeah, browse. Yeah, so click that now. Yeah. Yeah, you have to choose the file. Uh -huh. uh, let, me, let me download something. Uh, alright, maybe uh, what uh, is it? Molecule. Right. Ja yeah. Jali. Yes. Jali. Yes. I think Doctor Cecilia question tadi is uh, you learn can handle those uploading uh, and downloading. Ha, yeah. uh, sebabnya I think Hanan should be answering that. Oh, okay, Hanan, please. Uh, ah. yeah, Hanan, because, Hanan, because Hanan it was um, involved. You learn to able ke tak able? I, I show you my, my page boleh tak? I just share what I have done. Then you can see what the chemistry yes, 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 is. Yes. Kejap, I just share very fast. And then we ask Hanan to uh, reflect. Ah. Uh, Hanan was not in. He, she has another meeting. Oh. Maybe we can okay. assist. Okay, maybe we can answer. Can you see Ayani, my one? Can you see? Yes. So this is what I meant. So the question is very general. Draw the mechanism. So the the heart of the question is here. Kalau I click, so the students should be able to click. Lah, I I I don't know how they're going to do it. So they must click to see the question. I have attached it through this link. Oh, okay, alright. Ah, uh, so okay, now, now, uh, now I click. I tak boleh pun. So I so don't know lah. Alright. Uh, you, you have to save and preview. Okay, save and preview. Sorry. Okay. Uh, then I just preview lah. Alright. Okay, so it's here. So student will see this, they're gonna click and then they look at the question. So just a simple one lah. So <laughs> but so is this it is what I meant. So we cannot draw this, so we have to do this. Most of the chemistry lectures I assume will do this. Uh. Uh, I cannot see the whole part of your screen. Uh, what uh, shall I do? Uh? Uh, because you are not sharing the, the page. Click preview. Change change page. You have to change to uh, you have to share the that screen, the output screen. Shift. Save changes and continue editing. Oh, save, save changes. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. You click uh, share first. Share. And then the share uh, the output screen. Remember the share. The you, learn, you learn, you can see, right? Yeah, uh, I can see. But yeah, but you haven't saved the last updated save version. Save first, save first. Yeah. Save first. 
save the changes. Yeah, save. Alamak, I come back preview. to here. And that's the question. You click a uh, preview. The uh, tu apa magnifying glass tu? Mana ini? I can ah, number yes. three. Yes, yeah. yes. Ah, okay. I click this ah. Huh? Nampak? No. Can you see? No, we cannot. Because you need to change your change. preview. You share file. Just now you share the current. Uh, browser, it pop up a new browser. So you oh, have so to, to share again. Ah. Yes. Okay, hang on. Ah. Uh. Kat mana? Uh -huh. oh, tadi masa saya show the preview tu, you cannot see lah. Uh, you have to go lah. Kita orang tak expert lah. Yes, tadi tak nampak. Oh, ya ke? No one uh, mentioned. Ya, yeah, tak nampak juga. <laughs> Can you see now? Can you see that one, Aisha? Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. Uh, I need like man, so my my link is here. So students should okay, be... Okay, just click on that. I click, ah. Uh. You, you click, can you see, you, you you can see the file or not? I can see the file. Can you see the uh, words? Yes, yes, yes. I click on that, ah. Uh. Uh. Yes, go ahead. <laughs> Ini nampak? Sekarang nampak? Sekarang tak nampak no, because ada window. window. You have Sekarang to see. Share balik. Yeah. Share window. Share balik. Share balik. Tapi, Why don't you just share the picture attachment, not the link? Uh, I tak boleh buat macam tu lah Dr. Nora. Yeah, because you have three choices there, right? Link and the attachment for yes, yes. picture. So it's so, better for you to have picture than it will have in the yes. questions, not the link. Yeah, yeah but I try to put the picture on the question, dia, dia tak muncul. It comes just like uh, icon saja. Uh, Alright. Um, I tried that. Excuse me. Is there any format for the picture? Maybe PDF or JPEG? Or... I don't know. For picture, excuse me, for picture, you have to save the picture first in your file. Yes. And then when you want to attach it, you take out from your file and then you attach. You cannot straight uh, attach uh, uh, from the picture that you take and then go to the to the you learn tak boleh. Alright, so, uh, excuse me. You copy about the picture, uh, we might think that our student have fast connection. So please be considerate because if they cannot load the picture, yes. they cannot understand what the question is all about. Yeah, so I don't know. So either picture I tried tak boleh, so that's why okay. I tried the link. Uh, okay, what? Uh, uh, apa Ahmad Izzuddin mentioned just now, if you have your your question with full of pictures or images, uh. you have to consider that, uh, for example, 100 students might access your your question, right? Yeah. So 100 students is accessing a file uh, or a question with pictures, and this will contribute a very high traffic to our network. And so imagine. Your let's... So what is your suggestion? Because we have diagram paper. molecules, uh, which we can we put to. in there. Okay. That's the problem. <laughs> to the extent you, uh, you, you can limit, for example, if only a text document, uh, maybe you can paste as part of the question. If really sure the file is small enough, maybe you can choose a PNG format. What are the accepted file type? Uh, JPEG can be used, but do not use BMP. BMP is very high. Do not that. use TIFF, do not use uh, uh, what do you call uh, z zero loss compression. No, okay. JPEG is okay. So JPEG, JPEG, JPEG or PNG? PNG. Uh, maybe, maybe later on uh, we can have another session how to use uh, Microsoft uh, drawing. Have you heard about that one? <laughs> later on. I don't, if I want to do drawing, I need another MCO to fit at home. Like, I, all right. my questions are drawing. I cannot be redrawing everything. All the right. drawings. Correct. Okay. Correct. Organic, we have a lot of drawings. Ah, and student like said, can write can I code. ask the text box just now? Can we put like simple symbol like superscript, subscript, uh, yes. pi? Yes. Uh, yes. Boleh? Yes. Boleh. Yes. Yes. Okay. That one you can. You can do equation A plus B and all that superscript, but you cannot draw. But when we have question like mechanism, of course we have to draw the molecular structure. Ah, okay. That's the problem. Ah. <laughs> All right, can we proceed? Okay. All right, proceed lah. Okay, uh, Jali, Jali, move to, move to so, the, uh, the, the uh, Jali, just 
Jali, just one question. Yes. So, the student will be able to upload their file on the uh, ULEARN, right? When we post that kind of essay yes. questions. Yes. So, they will have no problem, correct? Uh, that one I cannot guarantee because depending on the condition of our network as well. Uh, if let's say uh, 1,000 uh, students are accessing the server at the same time, uh, that uh, may be also contributed by the condition or the health of our network as well. If uh, I mean the network is, uh, uh, is, uh, is okay, then it's okay. But question wise, maybe we have pre prepared correctly. Only okay. the process of uploading the file. Uh, because most of the maths questions are basically designed in this essay because we want to see them doing the working. Yes. So we we are trying to ask the student to use the upper cam scanner, something on the, the app so that they can okay. scan to change to PDF and then they yeah. should be able to upload that on the ULEARN. Mm. But, uh, but the fact is that um, within that time frame, let's say the one to one and a half hours that we give the student, they need to be able to upload. Are you talking about the extended assignment or the, the test too? No, the, the test. Most of us are using the, doing the essay because it's going to be difficult for the student to type in. The not So we just want them to work on a separate piece of A4 paper and then uh, then upload the, the answers to us. So that's what we plan to do. For my course, that's what I plan to do. Mm. So, but I just need to make sure that that they are able to uh, upload that. So can um, can you guys try to ensure the ITMS should be able to um, assist us with that situation? Is there any ITMS guy in this uh, uh, clinic, Nizam? Uh, Hana is left. Okay, basic, basically the, the ULEARN allow file to be submitted maximum up to 50 megabyte. Yeah. Okay, but uh, during our test setting, uh, we should limit maybe up to uh, less, up to ten megabyte, or maybe up to only a few megabyte, so that uh, there will less congestion when the student uh, submitted the work. Okay, at the test, when the test on, basically the IT media uh, staff will be available to be contacted if there is an issues. But uh, I uh, excuse me, but I think when when the test is running by right, other tests should not run. You know, because we already have we have planned in such a way the number is manageable. For example, bila prop test is running, of course other courses are running, but the number shouldn't be that very high. Yes. Right? Because when they plan the timetable, they have looked at students number. So okay. I tak rasa lah congestion will be an issue. Issue dia ialah whether we can upload or not. That's the issue. Because when they yes. do the, the uh, yes, timetable, they have... Yes, we can upload. Uh, because we masa can. buat timetable, they expect the numbers. Lagi, lagi satu, we need to make sure that the student know how to upload. Because okay, on, on our side, uh, we have done the question. But we also need to make sure that the student know how to upload the file uh, on the ULEARN. That's the main thing lah. Because they want, they want will do it in PDF phone. So I think, I think they, they, they are fully aware, I think. So because they are very, very savvy in this uh, computer. Uh, okay. Inshallah. Okay, uh. okay. 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 Like, can we proceed? I, I just yes. want to finish what I have started just now. Uh, just now I click the image. Uh, make sure that you have downloaded the image. Okay. And then uh, once it is displayed here, uh, what I normally do, I just uh, use this one. Eh? Description not necessary. Okay, and then save the image. Uh, then the, the image will appear here. Is that okay? So this is one way. Lah, but, uh, but we, okay, okay, okay. We, we suggest that uh, if possible, uh, you don't uh, like include images for every question. If possible, then use text only, right? Uh, and then another way just now, um, I, I guess uh, instead of uh, like giving the URL, uh, for example, you can try, for example, click this file like so, and then uh, you click uh, this one, okay, you select this one, 
and then uh, click the link. Uh, where is it? Link. Okay. Uh, you enter URL. For example, uh, I don't know, maybe uh, a file that you have somewhere. W.google.com. Assuming that this one is a is a file link. Okay. And then create the link. Yeah. Oh, maybe you can browse, uh, for example, uh, a repository from your PC. Uh, this is the image that I have downloaded just now. Click open. Click upload this file. Just override because I have done. Uh, so in this case, students uh, don't see the URL. They, they only see this one. Can you see the difference? So you, you just, uh, for example, click this file for your question and then you highlight. Let me repeat, yeah. For example, uh, click me or whatever, and then click this link. Okay. What's the advantage? Well, won't it take time also to download that? Uh, it's the same. The only difference is that uh, it, it makes your question simpler to read because they don't uh, have, you know, like distraction. You have a long uh, URL and okay, so on. Okay. So if you uh, choose this uh, word and then link uh -huh. to your for, uh, yeah, your file. Okay. Okay. Okay, so that is only one example. So click changes. So I, I don't know how I'm going to try this one from student point of view. Maybe uh, later on when we create the, the quiz, because uh, what we are doing now is only creating the question, right? Yeah. So I showed you like a few questions. So let me uh, view this one. Okay, Can this, I ask this a question one. at this point, please? Once again? Can I ask a question at this point, please? Yes, yes, please. Okay, in order for the student to answer effectively using diagrams or draw tools, is it possible for you to set up an answer link where you link out to a software which is given by ITMS, the student presses the link, goes to a draw software or essay software or whatever, writes or draws whatever, presses the submit and it automatically attaches back here. Rather than yeah, to have yeah. the student it's, it's, it's possible. Uh, disadvantage. It's possible, but I need to get the uh, uh, update from uh, Hanan. Hanan is not in this group. Yeah, but if you if link you. them to a software, the drawing will take time, uh, Dr. Iswaran. Yeah, so yeah. They spend time drawing and uh, the drawing takes time, uh, basically. I got an idea of this software. drawing because you were saying you needed to draw and all that, is it? If you don't want to draw, it's okay, but if somebody needs something to be drawn, then that would be the best because the student may not have softwares or have incompatibility issues and so on and so forth with Moodle. But if Moodle has everything done within, then it's a lot, a lot easier for anybody to set questions. It's just a general thing, nothing specific. Yeah, yeah that, that, that is one idea. But uh, I would prefer to choose uh, Dr. Cecilia's suggestion because uh, the student have handphone. Uh, they, they, for example, they can draw the, uh, they can draw the uh, solution or the drawing on a piece of paper. And then they use the handphone to capture that one, and right away they they they, uh, they they can submit here. Yeah, they they maybe they can put in their folder, uh, and then they they include as part of the answer. Yeah, the draw, the drawing uh, I would normally use uh, Office Lens. O F F I C E L E N S. That is the oh. best so far that I have tried For because uh, that one. Cost will make sure even if you take the picture from different angle from skewed the, the picture would be skewed then that software will automatically make it as a like a4 paper like as if you are taking the picture uh, perpendicular to your your paper office lens yeah okay okay so the student can drag and drop the solution uh, as i mentioned here can be uh, maybe the uh, screen capture or maybe uh, the snapshot of the 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 info paper just now. So, yeah, uh, they 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 can uh, click this one, add file, or maybe they can drag and drop as a part of the answer. Okay, uh, can I proceed before we are running? Uh, we are running out of time, I guess. Uh, how to import the question? Do you want me to proceed? Yes, Kelly. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Uh, if so, uh, because I don't have any imported questions so far, but. Uh, well, maybe uh, I don't know where I put my uh, past year question. So I'm going to show you how to export the question. So if uh, you go to your course and again here under the question bank items here, there, 
you have uh, export. Export mean you uh, you package all the question uh, from your model uh, into your your PC. That is export, yeah. Going out from Moodle. So click on export. Okay, the, the format that uh, we are suggesting is the second one. Moodle XML format. Uh, the rest will work, but uh, we haven't tested fully. Uh, but what we have been uh, using is Moodle XML. I guess uh, the rest of my uh, maybe team member uh, agree with me. Moodle XML format. Right. But you have to remember uh, what, what format that you... Save your question paper. Hold on a second, yeah. I think I have to. Okay, I'm back. Uh, so Moodle XML format. So in this case, uh, what, uh, which question that you have to choose? Uh, in this case, I'm because currently I have only like three questions. Okay, can you see? So you can, for example, uh, save uh, only from topic two, four, or maybe from topic five. So in this case, uh, I want to replicate the, the, the whole set of questions for test two for next semester course. So I'm going to click test two, right? And then down here, you have two options, right? Category to file, right? Context to file. Uh, the best, uh, I would suggest, is to leave this one as it is. That means uh, you click this one and you click this one. Uh, right category to file mean they will maintain the structure of the category. Otherwise, the, all the three questions so far that I have already in my course will be written in one like uh, one folder, not with the subfolder or subcategories. All right. So as simple as that, you export the question. Okay. Continue. So this is the file. So you have to remember uh, okay, where you save the file. So normally I just click show in folder. So this is where uh, I put the file. Okay, uh, You can rename this file. You don't have to worry much about this one. Yeah. So let's say, okay, uh, let me put in that another folder. I'm going to cut uh, this normal folder is under uh, you learn clinics. Okay, I'm going to save there. Oops, what did I do? I think I've clicked the wrong file. Okay. Uh, let me repeat the question maybe. Okay, create a new question. Oh, sorry. Uh, not this one, yeah. Export, yeah. Export. Okay. okay test two. I'm checking that I have three questions. Uh, where is it? Should have export. Okay, Moodle XML format. So I'm going to repeat once again. Just click this this one to check that I have all the files. So I have like three file, three file or three question. Export question. Okay, go to the folder. I have this question. I'm going to cut. I'm going to put in my there. With the paste here. All right. So let us check that the file is there. So assuming uh, uh, next semester you are teaching a different uh, uh, diff different uh, course or the same course. So what you need to go, uh, you need to do, you go to uh, question bank and then import. So in this case, I'm going to first go to the question bank. Uh, I'm going to remove all the question. So I'm going to click test two. Okay. I think I've clicked the wrong option. Okay, let me check. I can click on categories. Okay, uh, click on categories. Maybe I can remove all this. Uh, I'm going to delete. Okay. Pretending that I have a fresh uh, plain course. Let's see if I have uh, some more question. Well, I still Mars, have you want the go boo? Once again? Uh, well, I think I should be able to remove that one. Okay. 
please. Okay, assuming uh, I want to delete this one. Okay. Oh, because uh, it's still in use, so I cannot remove. Uh, assume uh, uh, because uh, I guess uh, every semester your course will be uh, reset, right? That's why I want to put in a condition that my course uh, contain no question. That's why I, uh, I have to remove one by one of the question. But I want to show you how to import the question. So go to question. Okay, I'm going to here. I'm going to remove manually one by one. So click on X there. Delete. And then for second question. Delete. Okay, and then topic four. Topic five, sorry. Go to that question. Remove. Delete. Uh, I'm going to remove the categories as well. So I'm going to go to categories. I'm going to remove this one. Okay, remove. So pretty much my course is empty, right? Okay. So now I'm going to show you how you can import the file. Click on import under question bank. And then uh, Moodle XML format. You have to remember this one. Okay, choose a file. So go to the folder or directory where you saved the file just now. Uh, I guess... Uh, where is it? Somewhere here. I guess this is the one question. Question, uh, question clean dummy course. Open. Okay, upload this file. And then import. So make sure that you have exactly the uh, set of questions that you want to import. Once you are satisfied, click continue. And you notice that the structure uh, is maintained. That's why when you uh, export just now, you have to leave the, we call, uh, maintain the, uh, the, the contact and the structure just now. So just uh, choose uh, the category that you want to uh, save the question and then export. So once you have done that, you keep the, that file uh, safely somewhere in your, maybe your, in your box. Okay, is that, is that clear? I guess uh, that's all for... Uh, can I ask a question? Yes. Yes. Uh, if we import like a, a, a set of question, question with the multiple choice A, B, C, D, yes. Yes. Uh, and then uh, uh, it will appear in the uh, question what bank something like that. Right. Uh, 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 the the question with the choice A, B, C, D. Yes. And then we we import a, a set of questions from words, for example. Okay. So so we don't have to. Uh, what uh, insert one by one the the uh, uh, do again the question it will appear uh, 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 exactly like uh, one question with uh, uh, the choice multiple choice A B C D. Oh, you want me to show the example or you want to share? Uh, I, I'm I'm asking question. Oh, okay. So it actually shouldn't be a problem. You can upload any uh, form available in the Moodle. Okay. There are some other format like Aiken, like uh, HTML. So they will look at the question bank as per setting in the category. Uh, we don't have to. We don't have to Is it prepare. Okay, if I show one one demo on that. Yeah, yeah. It, it, okay. Yes, what what you can do? Uh, use a normal text editor. So in this case, uh, I'm going to use Notepad. This is Notepad. They, so they try that. to use Microsoft Word. Ah, uh, you can use. Try you can use, but make sure Word. when you save, you save what you call the plain text format. Without the what you call formatting bold underline and so on. Sorry, Jale, can you say can you do that again? Uh, meaning, can you import for us from Microsoft Word? Yes, yes. Yeah, thanks. But make sure uh, that file must be text file, not dot uh, docx. Also, once we've saved, let's say we've worked on our questions on Microsoft Word, then we have to save it as text file. Then yeah, only let me we can show import. Then, uh, using Word yes, then. please. Thanks. Uh, let's say this one is Microsoft Word. Uh, I'm going to open a new one. Okay, so it's very simple. Uh, every question must be followed by four or five uh, options of answers. For example, what is the capital? Did I change the view? Yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry. Let me check. Yeah, okay. I forgot to modify that one. 
guys, I have to stop sharing and then share this one. Okay, this is your Microsoft Word. Um, okay, uh, let me increase it a bit. University of uh, Malaysia. Okay, immediately after the question, you may have like many lines for the question. You just put uh, A dot capital A, yeah? and then a space. Uh, for example, maybe IPO. The next one is Kota uh, Kinabalu. I just put it simple. Okay, Kuala Lumpur. Zone. Okay. And then right after that, immediately, you have to, you have to put uh, answer, space, and the answer C, like so, right? Uh, that's why I don't, I don't prefer to use a uh, Microsoft uh, Word because it has a formatting there. So I don't like this one, but you can use. So if you have a second question, uh, put a space, uh, a line, and then start with the second one. For example, uh, what? This one can also be used by using a notepad. Yeah, yeah, that's why uh, I prefer. Uh, just I want to show you how if you use Microsoft Word, but uh, most of the time I prefer to use Microsoft uh, uh, like using a notepad and so on because it has already text. But if you are using Word, you cannot avoid that. Uh, then uh, I'm going to show you how. What is uh, uh, what is uh, okay, where is UTP? Where is UTP? So for example, A. So it's, as you can notice, it's not very uh, you know, very user friendly. So, but even so, if you have written, then what you can do, you just save file, save as. When you save as, make sure that, okay, I'm going to choose this one, this PC. Make sure that the, sorry, the format is not the OCX or the OC. You have to choose TXT. Okay, that is text file, right? So choose this one. So I'm going to save somewhere uh, under my folder. Next. So I'm going to save here. Sample question. Make sure that this one is text file. Okay. Click OK. Save, yeah? So there you are. Uh, but you have like many problem, right? Like this character and so on. That's why I don't I, I don't suggest to use some Microsoft Word. So what I will do, I'm going to copy this one all and move to Notepad, which is easiest. Notepad. So you write here. So you see the formatting there. You have to remove all this. Yang yeah, change view. Oh, okay, sorry. So share. Okay, this is in Notepad. Uh, you write all the questions here. Okay. Answer C. Okay, make sure you have spacebar. Okay, let's see. Throw no. B. S. I. C. K. K. D. K. L. Okay. Okay. Uh, immediately, you give answer colon and the answer is for example is a b right okay so you save save as i'm going to find a location it's under document attachment Nick. so i'm going to save as sample question okay make sure txt is the extension click save Right now, you go back to your Moodle. Uh, hold on. Change another view. Yeah. Okay. Share with my Moodle. Okay. Go back to your Moodle. And go back to Question Bank. Mm -hmm. Now import. Uh, you choose this Aiken format. Aiken format is the easiest, I guess. Okay. Question and then followed by the answer. So I'm going to locate my file, choose file. You can drag and drop it for sure. 
I'm going to choose file from this uh, file picker. Uh, attachment. Learn. Sample question just now. Okay, click upload. And then import. Alright. So continue. So you now have uh, two added question. Can you see that? Uh, the only difference is that the name is not given here, but you don't have to worry. Uh, you can always change the name of the question. Uh, if I change the name of the question there, I click here. So this is the question. Actually, uh, the question text will be chosen as the name of the question. So if let's say I want to rename it, you can always do it. For example, topic four, uh, essay number three. Click OK. Yeah. So you notice that Kuala Lumpur is the correct one. Uh, it is recorded there. It save changes. Or maybe you can leave it uh, as uh, it is. So, and uh, for example, if you have imported the question from uh, like Notepad just now, you may want to group the question and put in another one, right? And another category, right? So you can do so actually. What you can do, you choose, for example, this one, uh, this specific one. I click this one because this one is uh, in the top uh, folder. So, for example, I can move from topic four to topic five. So you can move around the question. All right. Should be okay. Five. We move there. So if I check now. Topic four has three questions instead of four, and topic five has now uh, one more added question. So the, the same process can be repeated. If, for example, I have this, uh, I go back to topic four. So you can always go to any uh, category. Uh, I have three questions. Uh, now I want to move the second question that I have uploaded just now to topic five. I just click on the left hand side here. And then I choose the category that I want to store. So I want to click topic five and then move to. So actually this question topic four will be moved, will be moved to topic five. Yeah, click this one. Now you check topic four now has only two questions. Topic five has three questions. Okay, and maybe to end this one, uh, I want to show you how. Isam, can I proceed to create okay. the quiz? Uh, we are about, about to, um, actually we are running out time. We are going to close at 12, okay, basically. Okay. Uh, we are going to continue on the next session tomorrow. Okay. Uh, maybe any agency, we can ask the participant. Any question? Yes, uh, Jali, uh, you have not shown us uh, uh, how uh, the Apa, we have uh, 60 questions and then how it, okay. uh, we select uh, 40 only. All right. You know, right. student has to answer 40, 60 right. questions. Okay, okay. All right. So now you go back to your course. Uh, this is your course, assuming. Uh, make sure that you click. Uh, can you see my screen? Can you yes. all see my screen? Yes, yes, yes. 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 Yeah, yeah. We can see, we can see. We can see. Okay, uh, click on uh, this uh, grid. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry for my kids, yeah. Okay, uh, click on turn editing on. Make sure you click that one. Uh, and you're going to see on every topic you have this uh, option. Uh, drop down list box, add resources and so on. So, uh, pretending that I want to create this quiz under topic one or topic two after topic two. So I'm going to uh, click this one, add an activity. And then uh, I choose quiz. Uh, this is an example quiz, yeah? Okay, quiz. Uh, I call the quiz, uh, for example, quiz two. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, I might give some like hint for my student. Topics. Covered. Topic four and five. Okay. Uh, please redo all 
the exercises in the two tutorial. Exercises. Okay. Correct. Okay. So you want to display this message, you just click display description. Okay, now the timing where you want to open the quiz. So I'm going to open for now is uh, like 15 minutes to 12, uh, 2nd April. So I'm going to open, uh, you have to click this one right, right, right first. Eh? So let's say I'm going to open from 2 p.m. All right. Uh, I'm going to uh, open for three hours. So 14, is it 17? Okay. 14, 5 p.m. Okay, time limit. Uh, I have to enable this one because this one is not an exercise. So I'm going to open for like, uh, it depends on you, uh, how many days, <laughs> one day, hours. Uh, so hours. Two hours, right? So two hours to be done between uh, 2 p.m. and 5 p.m. So they can choose any time. The latest that they, they can start is actually at uh, 3 p.m., right? So here, a time must be submitted before time expires. Uh, to be safe uh, for the student, uh, I normally use this one. Uh, open the time are uh, submitted automatically. That means if, for example, the time expires and they haven't yet uh, completed the question and they haven't got the opportunity to, to click the submit button, that one will be submitted automatically. So whatever question that they have answered uh, will be submitted. So they don't, lose any, uh, they don't lose any question. So I'm going to click this one. Okay. Um, and then great. Uh, don't worry much about this uh, and categorize. Uh, this is the case where you have like uh, many group in one class. So I'm not going to add that one. Uh, grade to pass, you want to specify, then you can put like 40, uh, but I normally just uh, leave it blank. The most important is that make sure under grade, attempts allowed is one. Okay. Uh, otherwise, they might, you know, attempt for the second one after attempting the first one. So this one is unclickable unless you change the attempts uh, a lot more than two. Uh, this one normally for exercises or maybe for like dummy quiz and so on. So if you choose one attempt, which is uh, most likely the case for us, uh, this one will be available. Okay, this is the layout. So uh, how many questions that you want to display on each page? Uh, I guess what has been instructed, uh, you just leave it uh, as it is. So that means uh, every question will be on a new page. That means one question each. Uh, you can always uh, show more. Uh, under layout, this is what uh, have been uh, instructed. You cannot choose free. You have to choose sequential for this test two or extended assignment, right? So sequential is the navigation. And then for question behavior, uh, you want to shuffle or randomize the order of the question to be given the student is uh, Yes. Okay. Uh, deferred feedback. Okay. No worry what much about that one. Review is quite important. Uh, because uh, yes, review is the most important because if you yes. forgot to untick uh, some option, the student can see the correct answer uh, answers right away and discuss with their friends. Yeah. So uh, what we normally suggest. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, excuse me, how yes. question behave? Uh, can you show uh, what you have to show? Can you um, move up the, I want just to see what uh, you click there up in the thing, how question behave? There was, a, I, there was something uh, you mentioned just now over this section. Uh, is it, is it in, can you question behave at yeah, this one? Yes, for for a review options, um, there are four uh, categories during the attempt, immediately after the attempt, later, and after the quiz is closed. So um, the best option would be um, if you want to share marks with the student, it's okay. 
but do not to share attempt. It will uh, be disadvantaged because later on, if you want to reuse similar questions, you might have leaked the question to the students. The attempt should be uh, antique. Unless if it is meant for exercise, non-graded assignments, non-graded quizzes, it's okay. But for assessment, normally we do not share the attempt with the student. So uh, let me uh, recap on that. Okay, what uh, Mike Zudi mentioned just now, during the, the attempt, normally you, you have to uncheck all this. Okay. Even the marks, the attempt and so on, whether it's correct or not, unless it is an exercise. So immediately after the attempt, that means after the student has submitted, uh, before maybe before the time, uh, later after the quiz still open, uh, or after the quiz is closed. So after the quiz is closed, normally, uh, if you are sure that every student has taken, then you maybe can share the marks only. That means after uh, 5 p.m. All right? But uh, most of the time, what I will do, I just uncheck all. Maybe one day after, two days after the quiz has closed, uh, only I go back to the setting and I undo this one. So that only then the student can view. Because there might be cases also uh, in the previous case that student missed the first test. Uh, I, I have to reassign the same test to the student with minor modification. So uh, that's the reason why. So if you choose to display the mark after the quiz close, then it's okay, carry on. And then, uh, well, uh, pretty much you have to click every uh, every option that you have here. Uh, okay, this one is the grade of the mark, uh, two decimal point. Extra restriction is where you set the password. Uh, it's up to you, if you don't want to set any password, then it's okay. Uh, the, uh, let's say I want to put uh so easy yeah, yeah. Deli, can you go yes. back to the appearance appearance show more okay show more oh yeah i mentioned that one no, i didn't okay okay carry on okay so always show more then <laughs> uh this one i'm not going to explain because uh, apparently a required network address is applicable if the student are taking their quiz from within our lab. So you require the network address, uh, making sure that every student is taking from that specific lab. But in this case, they are from home. So just leave this one blank. At any time you want to see the password, you click this magnifying glass. So the password is so easy. Okay. Uh, this one is not applicable because uh, we are giving only one attempt. Uh, normally, the best they can do, uh, browser security, you just put full screen. Uh, that means when they open the quiz, they cannot open any other window. Is that right, Ahmad Izzuddin? Uh, provided the browser is uh, JavaScript friendly. Yeah, okay. So at least you put this one, yeah? Uh, hoping that they cannot view any other resources while attempting their quiz. Okay, uh, uh, I guess uh, this one is not very important. Uh, yeah. Sorry, question. I have a question about yes. uh, browser security. So if I opt for the full screen pop-up with some Java script uh, security, uh, uh, the problem is my student need to draw graph using Excel. So can they do that if we uh, opt okay. for that option? Then choose none. Uh. None, yeah? Okay. So none, okay. Okay, uh, the rest is not important, I guess. I guess that's all, yeah? Restrict access, okay. Save and display. So this is uh, what the student uh, uh, would Jali, see. Jali, before that, I think if you are doing essay, we don't have to click anything, lah. basically make it easy. Because like essay, you don't have to put the marks, anything, there's nothing there. Right. Yeah, at least you put in the uh, in the in, uh, what we call description here. What uh, is the total mark? How many questions and so uh, on? Ah, just simple. You don't have to put all the other things. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, how to add the question? You click on Edit Quiz. This is the process of adding the question to the quiz. Okay. What is the maximum grade? Let's say the maximum grade is like I don't know, 40, 60, or 100. Okay. This is where you choose the question. Add, uh, whether you want to create a new question, which is uh, less likely because you have already the question, you can choose from the question bank or random question. 
uh, the only difference is that uh, for, uh, if you choose from question bank, you have to click manually. Out of that 60, you have to click manually. So I would suggest that you click this one, random question. And then make sure you choose the correct category. So as pretending that I have like 30 questions from topic 4 and 30 questions from topic 5, I want to choose maybe only 20 questions. So, uh, oops, oh my god. Do switch off, please. Sorry for the interruption. Eh? Uh, okay. Uh, and then, uh, if you have, like, say, uh, subcategories, uh, for example, you are choosing, for example, from uh, test two and you have subcategories, then you have to click this one. But most of the time, I just leave this one blank because we are going uh, to each of the lowest uh, subcategory and find the question uh, one by one. So leave this one blank. And uh, in this case, I'm going to choose, let's say, 20 questions from topic four. Make sure you choose that uh, category because in this case, I don't have enough question. I just say one question. Uh, so in, in, in your case, you have to choose like how many questions? Is it 30 questions? 40, 20 questions? You choose 20 questions from topic 20. four. Uh, I mean, uh, in this case, I want to choose like uh, 20 Let's say in topic four, we have... Uh, okay, pretending that I have 30 question, 30, 30. So I want to choose 20 question from topic 4 and another 20 question from topic 5 that have also 30 question. But since I don't have enough, I guess uh, I have to change to 1. Alright? Or 2, the maximum is 2. Okay, so at random. That means I have chosen 2 question from uh, topic four, and you repeat the process by clicking add here. Again here, uh, plus a random question. Now you go to topic five, and choose another, uh, I don't know how many questions, two questions, because I have only three questions. Okay, add random. So, oops, should be two. So now we have added four random question, right? So in your case, make sure that you have chosen uh, the correct number of questions from each topic that will total up to, uh, I don't know, 40 or 50 questions. All right? Uh, you may... Just, just yeah. want to ask, is it yeah. a must for us to choose this random type? Because uh, the student will get the same questions, all of them. Uh, if we want to select a good question, I mean, you know, to, to the level of the questions, uh, to be uh, answered by the question. Is it must for us to take the question no. randomly? It's only a facility to facilitate your, your process. Only then you can do so. But uh, as I mentioned earlier on, if let's say you want to subcategorize the question, for example, under topic four, you have like easy, intermediate and very hard question, you can do so. That means easy question, you have like a 20 question, in the intermediate question, you have another 20 question and the hard question, 20 question. So this is where it's very helpful. For example, uh, this time around, you want to choose like only five questions from easy, uh, 20 questions from the hard question, then you can do so. Jali? Yes. Excuse yes. me, Jali, Zul here. Yes, yes. So uh, what, what you have done here is we are selecting, let's say we select 40, at random we select 40 questions. Yes. So that means only 40 questions will appear uh, to the student, isn't it? And these 40 questions, every student will see this, am I right? Yes, yes. Okay, so I've been thinking the other way around. I thought we prepare 60 yeah, questions. Similar questions. 40 questions in numbers, yes, but not the same question. I, I no, I it will be the same question, but they reshuffle, they shuffle. Uh, what uh, I'm trying to say is, we have a test bank, we, we have, we have, we have set up 60 questions, but every student will only see 40 out of these 60 at random, and uh, then, then uh, not everyone will have the same 40 question. It's not possible. 
Ah, uh, this is the one that I've been asking because uh, our, I mean, uh, our department requests us to prepare 60 question, but what what the student have to answer is only 40 questions. But if what we have done, but what you have shown here is 40 question only, then it will revolve around this 40 question. Cuma dia shuffling to answer dia kemungkinan uh, if student A dia, dia, dia tengok A is uh, Kuala Lumpur. Uh, student lagi satu dia tengok A is Kota Kinabalu. Am I right? Yeah, you are um, right. I think the lecturers must prepare minimum of 1.5 in ratio. So if you want to display 40 questions, you need to prepare 60 questions. If you want to uh, prepare 50 questions, minimum of 75 in the question that, bank. That one is clear. That one is clear. Let's say we take the example 40 and 60. Uh, the, the student will answer only 40 questions. We prepare 60. So this 60, will the student have the chance to get one, I mean, 40 out of this 60, or the student will receive similar question, 40 question only? Sorry, yeah, uh, that was all. Uh, as what we did is for categorize, then we have uh, for ACA, so we have nine questions, uh, then we can categorize and, uh, for three big group. So that means they will random choose from category, not only 40 questions, uh, randoms for the answer. I think, for, I, think, I think what the but because, meant, because what, what, what appear here, but appear yang yang kita tengok sekarang ni appear is only forty question kat sini. I and this forty we, question is what the the student will face. Every student will face. I, I guess okay. Dr. Zul is right. He is right. Ah, Jandi, Jandi, kau ijar rasa what the Zul man? We we are giving them uh, sixty different questions, right? Yes. So forty, everybody will see forty, isn't it? And but the question will not be the same for each of the yeah, students. Yes, right? for, yeah. Yeah. I, will, I will have to agree with Dr. Zod. It will be the same. Huh? 40 to 40 will random will be the same. Yes. Is it possible to do yes. it? Yes. I think it's different. Of course. No, no. no. It will not be then if, if that is the case, be fit for us to prepare 60 ah, questions. Yeah. Jelly, it, won't, it will not be the same. It, it will, will not be the same. Yeah. I disagree, Zudin. Why? Because if you check after the test, uh, you will have a summary of the student performance attempt mm. and the questions are all lined up exactly the same. You are right. You are right, Jali. You are right. I yeah. will have to disagree with you. Different. So why don't you try the I, category part? I think it's different, Jali. Yeah, I think I, it's different. I remember it's that one time uh, I have something like that, but the student will not have the same like uh, okay. questions. Kalau macam tu, okay, uh, because I, I, I've been doing this one for quite some time uh, and I see the performance and when you see the performance result, there will be a report where each student answer exactly the same the same set of questions because Betul. the student will not list all the questions that have been given to the student. Betul. Uh, jadi dia punya soalan sama but in different order, different yes, answer. Betul. Tapi yes, when betul. Student, they summarize, uh, the, the the selected 40 to exactly the same for every student. Hello. I can show you the result. Let me Maybe show you. Maybe per huh? batch, Kelly. Huh? 40 exact question per batch. You run the same test again, it might choose different 40 questions. What do you mean by batch? Because uh, when you conducting test two, you have only one batch, one time, right? No, no, no. I mean, in, in the past when we had uh, several... Uh, section we, we need to run the test many many times so um it will choose different 40 questions for different sessions but every time okay let me show you an example or, or, uh, jadi, jadi. Uh, yeah jadi. yes okay, jadi. Uh, for that issue we we go back to the ulen team to discuss ah okay right okay okay i think the whole purpose is uh doesn't matter mcq or sc sorry sorry i cannot hear doesn't matter if MCQ or SA, if MCQ, the students are supposed to do 40, we should prepare 60 so that the questions are different. The system will be laid out of 60, must be laid 40, but because we are worried, let's say student A get the 40 different question, different category, student B get different category, you must categorize the question. So let's say you put category topic 1, you prepare 10 of that so that 
they, might, they don't have to get the same question, but the category is the same. The concept we are testing is the same. Let's say I put in mechanism. So I have three set of mechanism question. It doesn't matter which question they get. So they, it should be that way. Like, it should be the same question. Yeah, that, that, that one, Dr. Cecilia, we, we understand. But the thing is how to get 40 out of 60. Then 60, 40 question out of 60. Okay, some of them, we need the SAV prepared nine. Students are only going to do three. Yes, 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 there. yes. That's why I asked the same, I asked the question. Uh, but I don't think, I don't think the, 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 the system allow that. What Jali said is correct. But if you say they bagi, they boleh buat, mengapa MCQ cannot? I'm not sure lah. We are not doing MCQ, so I don't know lah. Barat should be able to. I, I say should be able to, Dr. Zul. We have tried before, but but we put that in different categories. Hmm. So put in so different the categories. So will pick like like, uh, like, like, uh, like what Dr. Cecilia was saying, kan? So we, we have So that like, means you put uh, you put into into different topics, ah. Kata uh, ada topic. topic one, topic uh, two, topic three, something like that, lah. Yes. Uh, ini I'm sharing my screen. Uh, Can yes. you see my topic screen? Topic one, topic two. Can you see yeah. my screen? Hello? Yeah, 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 you can. Yes, ah, yes. Ini contoh ya, yes, yes. saya buat random ya. Tengok random. Ah, ini saya tengok quiz 2 ke quiz 1. You tengok, let's say uh, quiz 1, uh, 4 question. So everyone will get the same question. If you click question 1, question 2, question 3, question 4. They but are you prepare berapa question, question ni? Huh? How, how many questions you prepare? Ah, uh, Like 20. 20, so they have to answer all. Uh, four question only. This one macam quiz saja lah. Oh, I see. They have to answer four question only. Four question. Ini quiz yang lama-lama dulu. Quiz. Uh, call it pre-quiz ke macam tu. So, what happened? Mm. 16 questions. You, you need to verify. Tapi, tapi this is. You need, you need to this verify. This is under different category atau just you lump the whole lot? Ini ikut category. No, but you need to look at the attempt. Oh, okay, attempt. I can see. Uh, look at the attempt kan. Uh, Jadi kita ke IV this team back to our team to discuss. Tengok question one. Ah, ni attempt dia lah. Everyone you get the same question. But we don't want that because we don't want them to have same question, kan? Yeah, yes. tapi ah, uh, uh, I mean we have to leave to ah uh, you learn team lah. As uh, TS apa nazar mention, uh, itu setakat tu kita saja boleh buat yang ini, and the rest we leave to the you learn team lah. It has to be three out of nine. Okay, uh. why why is that we don't want them to have the same questions? I think okay, same uh. questions are okay. It's quite, it's quite fair. So I mean, somebody will have a different questions. Is it fair or not? I think for me, it's, no, it's okay for to, we to, want for to, to have the same question. We want to reduce copying. This, yeah, correct. This, the question doesn't have to be the same, but the concept must be the same. The topic, topic. So it doesn't matter, you know. No, that one understood, Doctor Zila. That one understood. But the thing, the 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 the, the query now is uh, prepare sixty question. The system will choose forty out of the sixty. Yes. Uh, uh, so so the, if if the Yulen system is doing that, okay. But now I tak nampak lah. I don't have can an I, answer for that. Can I ask a separate question, a different question, please? Uh, I think today we were supposed to do Q, a quiz as well as EA. Huh? I don't know if EA is going to be done. But uh, my other question will be very simple. That is, uh, now I have a database of questions and I would like to have a second opinion on this database of questions by asking my colleague, let's say someone else from the department, how can I possibly share this uh, database or even a few questions with a colleague discreetly so that no one else will see this, please. Thank you. Uh, I would uh, suggest that you use maybe uh, uh, Microsoft, uh, Microsoft uh, uh, sorry, uh, Google Doc. Google Doc, uh, you can share the same question to a uh, certain group of people. You mean you're asking me to use a link to Google Drive and then ask my friend to see it? Yes. Okay, thank you. All right. Uh, I, uh, with that, I guess I have to end my presentation. Uh, I give back to the S.I. Punizam. Excuse me, this uh, record of this presentation, is it possible for us to get the record? Uh, basically, the record will be available after the the recording, recorded end in the meeting chat. 
Okay, okay. let's say they, they will be available here. It is Jale, it is Jale. Just, just a quick check. Uh, slightly out of this, uh, this is what, what we have discussed is based on you learn. Now, uh, I have master students and I've been told to go online as well for tests using you learn X. But uh, when I check the, the the options, it's not going to be the same. It's not the same as what I've seen in, under you learn. Are you going to have another session for you learn X or how? Uh, the Sapunizam, can you answer on that? Okay, basically the features are the same. Uh, either you learn or you learn as. The only matters is the some features are not being um, turning on by ITMS. So those things will be discussed with uh, ITMS unit. Okay, so I shall wait for the the, the options uh, made available on you learn X. All right. Basically, basically everything was there same no, as. I just the navigation not the same as what I yes, did. Yes, they just change the view, the, the setting view, the option how to use it. Uh, yeah, slightly, di totally different lah, I would say. Yeah, totally different, totally different. Okay. But the, the function was there. Nampak sama, tapi tak serupa. Yes. Yeah. Okay, is there any, any other question that actually need to be handled? The randomized question, the essay, three out of nine, and we can review. Uh, can we have a, how sure are we what, because we cannot, can we see what students are getting? Uh, are they getting the randomized question that we have prepared, the, the, the things that we want? How sure are we that students are getting what we have? Um, what, uh, in order to test, okay, as uh, maybe I can suggest like you can add on uh, some of your your GA or maybe uh, among lecturers in your team can test your question during vetting. Ah, so, okay. so the way that you do will be uh, you added them as your student. Okay, and we put a different timeline like earlier than the test and ask them to try. Yes. Ah, okay. uh, you, you actually can check yourself. I have tried myself. Just take the preview and then refresh, click the preview again, you will get to see a different set of questions. At every time, because just now when I did, I get the three questions, but let's say another student B, well, what I want to see what the student B is getting, student C, you know? A you group can of them. Uh, refresh, refresh and then preview again. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, I have time myself for the 60 MCQ. I did get the different set of questions every time I refresh. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, is, is there any other question? Uh, hello, I have one question related to non-MCQ questions. Actually, we have to provide nine questions uh, if we want to consider only three questions be solved by the students. So we need to make these questions in three categories, right? So just I want to know, a student need to be selected question one, they want to solve in in different categories or no, just a student should consider one categories. Uh, uh, what we do on the lecture part, we do set for the randomizing the question. The student will get as per system set. So Dr. Hassan, to answer your question, you have to do three, three categories with three different concepts of your yes. course. And each category, you put three questions. Then you tell you learn to take one question from each of this category. Yes. Uh, so you cannot take questions from the same category. You have yeah, to learn, just uh, something like that. Uh. All but right. I need to check it. Standing as a question. Nizam, how to type equation into the the you learn? Jadi, are you there? Okay guys, uh, let me rectify. Uh, I have to retract back my statement just now. Uh, I read from the documentation just now. Uh, it says that uh, Moodle will choose different set of questions. So you don't have to worry. Sorry Dr. Okay. Zul. Okay. Jadi okay? uh, about the equation. Equation? Uh, Mathematic equation, how to type inside the you learn? Uh, you have to use, uh, that one I have to conduct a special uh, session. 
uh, the, the type of question is calculated question. Calculated. No, it's a it's an equation editor. We use a Microsoft uh, equation editor to to type. Then how to how to read in the ULEARN? Um. Uh, let me check on that because currently what uh, what I've been uh, doing is that I choose calculated question, but one that one is a simple uh, uh, simple equation. For example, uh, finding the uh, root of quadratic equation that one can be done. No, as long I, as long as you have the formula, then you can do the question. No, I'm talking about symbol and all this. Yes, uh, I in understand. The yeah. uh, let, let me check on that first because okay. that one uh, will require plug in and so on. Okay. All right. So guys, let me uh, repeat once again. Uh, you don't have to worry. You have uh, to only create 60 question uh, and then you choose for 40 out of the 60 question and every student will have different set of question. Uh, I, I will have to re retract back my previous statement because after checking from the Moodle uh, website, it says that every student will get different set of question. So uh, quest uh, the, the issue is solved here. Yeah. Yes, uh, I saw that uh, when I did for the 60 questions. We got a different set of questions every okay. time. Uh, I apologize I for my uh, my wrong statement uh, for this commotion. <laughs> All right, everyone, is, is there any more question? So now it's about 12.18. Can I? I see a few people for doing this first. Yeah, I feel very confused. One last question. <laughs> and, uh, can you hear me? What I'm yes, saying? Yes. So I was just wondering, you have another session on the 6th or something like that, isn't it? Is it possible to have an extended session for this one in a couple of days time or tomorrow, for example, or something like that? And this time for people who have already tried to put up questions and have some a q and a which they can ask you directly rather than we go through all the theory is it possible please thank you okay i, I put it this way okay we have created the class in the in the teams name as you learn clinic okay there is a poster spread through a utp email okay you become one of the student of the class okay you can post the question over there so it kind of offline a uh, chat so we will reply Okay, so from there, the other lecturers can read also. If you have any question later. All right, everyone, is it okay? Okay, thank you very okay, much. Okay. okay, thank you. Okay, okay. okay. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Okay, thank you. Noreen can stop recording. Okay. Mm. Thank, you. Thank 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 you.